It was a busy weekend for the St. Louis Blues' new puppy. His name is Barkley. And Randy Gersh of the Blues staff works with a group called Duo, which will foster him for 18 <laughs> months, providing him basic obedience training. Dogs unite us all. Dogs, to many, are the preference over people. This doggo feels the opposite. Meet Barclay, the St. Louis Blues' yellow Labrador retriever, who the team views as their good luck charm in a historic season that has led them to their first Stanley Cup final in 49 years. Practice was a must for Barclay, who is currently in training. He can be seen cycling pucks through the zone from time to time. Even at team photo day, Barkley was there, getting his rubs in on the ice and mingling with players like Ivan Barbashev and a man who has played sparingly this postseason, Robbie Fabry. Duo, a national not-for-profit organization providing highly skilled service dogs to individuals with disabilities and uniquely trained therapy teams in the community, offering dignity, hope, and independence to those we serve partnered with the Blues to raise Barclay, and according to ESPN, from the moment he was born, Barclay has been around a human 24 hours a day. The idea for a professional hockey team to raise an adorable pup like Barclay came from Blues broadcaster John Kelly's sister, who is a puppy raiser. Our main goal with Barclay is to acclimate him to all social situations, she said. We need to make sure he's really comfortable around people. Barclay had grown accustomed to pucks, but also people showing off his new friends to his more than 65,000 followers on Instagram. Barclay graduates in roughly 18 months, but his journey has only begun. Barclay will either work as a service dog for someone with a disability or serve as a courtroom dog, sitting for hours with children who are testifying in cases in which they were physically, sexually, or mentally abused. Children in those situations typically have a difficult time opening up to adults, especially prosecutors, so the presence of a dog can help because dogs don't judge anyone, she said. The Blues have brought Barclay to the offices and to home games this season to help him get used to being around people. Fourth line winger Ivan Barbashev said, if I ever have a bad day, it's really nice to see him. Added Gersh, when the players see him, they always stop to greet him. They really, really do love him. Previously, the New York Rangers trained a doggo named, well, Ranger. Say hi to Ranger. This guy is going to be making a huge difference in the lives of a family that are dealing with autism. The Rangers partnered with Blue Path, a nonprofit that provides autism service dogs. The animals offer companionship, safety, and independence opportunities to those with autism. While the Blues at some point will have to say goodbye, it is all about giving back and helping out those in need. Like the Rangers, Blues, and previously the Ottawa Senators, here's to hoping more teams follow the lead because when they do, lives are positively impacted in the best way possible. And before we go, do not forget to vote for Barclay as the best NHL team dog. Just go to NHL.com slash fan choice awards and cast your ballot thank you to the blues for stepping up and many more clubs in the near future if you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like tyt sports on facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent go to tyt.com rick